here guys you're going to be seeing uh, the case knife from the last video um, that I'm actually using it at work I decided to um, EDC every day carry it and uh, I happened to pull it out a couple times at work to just kind of test the sharpness it was a lot of fun using it but I was kind of careful it is a 1988 vintage case knife so I didn't want to like go all out and start cutting big thick wire or like a bunch of cardboard and dull the blade I do want to keep it you know kind of like a take it out of your pocket and cut some small things throughout the day type knife um, nothing too heavy actually that's why I have my Gerber principle um, that is what I use for work um, and I put this cool lanyard on it with a titanium uh, ring that's pretty much what I do all of my heavier duty stuff with um, it gets pretty sharp um, it's 440 uh, carbon steel so um, it takes an edge really well and it sharpens really well and it keeps an edge really well so I really like using that one. And also here are a few pictures from the uh, fishing tournament. Here's a couple pictures. I caught a four pounder. Um, we did get top 10, so that was cool. And big bass was actually only like five pounds. So I was just a pound off from getting a uh, big bass for that uh, tournament. No big deal. I think we'll try to place in the top five next time. Um, it's a, a two day tournament at Hubbard Creek. Hopefully I'll be taking some video of that one. Um, that one's the second week of April. So that one's also coming up pretty soon. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update on um, just the knives I've been using and just my everyday carry and what I've been doing this past weekend. As you can see in the videos, um, the knife cut pretty well. I mean, like I said in the last video that the knife looks like it has never really been used. I used uh, all three knives in that video on that case, Stockman, and I absolutely love the knife. It's a super cool everyday carry. Um, it's super sharp um, and it's got really good snap still. So I'm super excited to continue to carry that one. But for today's um, just little word from God and the Holy Spirit kind of moving through me right now as I'm thinking, um, don't let the devil get to you and don't let the demons get to you because I feel like recently with, with the way the world's been, I really do feel like the spiritual war is um, getting worse. And I feel like it's really active right now and we're starting to feel it as people who draw closer and near to God and to get into their word. Um, people are starting to feel it more and more and see more evil. And I really do think that it is so important to just not dwell on your um, mistakes because Satan learns from those mistakes and he, he dwells on those mistakes to try to overcome you and to try to attack you in those areas where you're weak. Try to remember, as I do every day, that God is on your side. And, and some of the videos that I've been watching on TikTok and some of the songs that I've been listening to on Pandora just kind of remind me of those things throughout the day. And I think that's the, you know, the power of God just kind of working through technology and working through music um, to let you know that he is still here for you and he still got you. And uh, just don't let a spiritual warfare fair on the evil side get to you because it is happening whether we can see it or not um, Some people have that gift and some people don't but don't let those things get to you still continue to read your Bible still continue to Try to just get into the presence of God and just to fill your um, time extra time throughout the day with uh, uh, whether it be worship music or praying or reading your Bible. I just thought I'd say that, you know, remember that Jesus did overcome the world already and you have nothing to worry about, you have nothing to fear, you have nothing to be scared about here on this earth because it is all taken care of by um, Jesus dying on the cross and God preparing um, his angels and us here on earth for the spiritual war that will take place when Jesus comes back. Um, and he is coming back for war. He already came back um, after dying. Um, and raising from the dead after three days, which is something that we've learned um, that is coming up because of with Easter being here, whether it's on March 31st or not, whatever day it actually is, we still know um, that he did what he did. And that's the most important thing that uh, if God doesn't give you that discernment, um, you can pray about it and continue to ask him. But even if he doesn't, he knows your heart and he knows where your mind is. And uh, he is a just God and a gracious God and give you that confirmation um, in ways that you need to have your spiritual eyes and ears open. So I pray that, that you know, you guys uh, pray for that discernment and um, I pray that he gives that to you. But guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. I'll come out with another one very, very soon of my collection that I'm probably going to be selling actually on eBay or whatnot. I'm not really sure, but um, you guys stay tuned. Thank you so much. Continue to pray. Continue to cast away demons. Tell somebody you love them today. Peace.